The Honourable Member for River Heights. Madam Speaker, uh, Julie Ayers, uh, daughter of Verna Ayers, has a complex seizure disorder. She was able to receive excellent emergency care from the Victoria Hospital, uh, the emergency room, until it was closed by this government. Oh. In the months since its closure, even with an affiliation letter from the Health Sciences Centre, emergency care has involved what Verna calls hospital tours, setting out for one emergency room, then being redirected to another, and sometimes being redirected to a third before being seen. Is the government planning to continue with such hospital tours to get emergency care, or will the government make sure a person like Julie can get consistent emergency care at one site? The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. I thank the member for River Heights for the question. This is actually one of the things that we are addressing uh, in our health transformation. Uh, we know that the evidence suggested in Manitoba, there were far too many inter-facility transfers, transfers between hospitals, transfers between emergency rooms. This is inefficient. It creates patient outcome challenges. It is costly and it takes time. It's one of the reasons uh, that we have embarked on this uh, transformation of our health care system to make sure that in time these numbers will continue to fall, getting people the right care at one facility and not multiple facilities. Here, here. Here, here. The Honourable Member for River Heights on a supplementary question. Yeah, Madam Speaker, there's no need to cause chaos when making changes. Julie is a frequent user of the Winnipeg's emergency care system, and her mother, Verna, has come to know it well. Compared to the certainty and excellence of Julie's care before the closure of Victoria Hospital, the current system is flawed. Yes. Patients like Julie are routinely redirected from one hospital to another before getting care. Even when she's having a seizure and needs urgent attention, she's routinely turned away from the Health Sciences Centre and St. Boniface Hospital emergency rooms because they're full. When will the Minister correct this problem? When, he w when will he correct this treadmill to tragedy? The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. Well, the member knows, as in all cases, if, if, there is a, if there is a case that he would like me to have more details on, uh, our office would be happy to receive the particulars of this case, and we would look into this woman's experience because, of course, we care. Uh, but that member also knows uh, that uh, he seems to be demonstrating a desire to go back. We know that the Canadian Institute for Health Information said that for years and years in Manitoba, despite spending some of the highest amounts on health care, they got the worst results. We will not go back to the past. The back pointed to failure and wait times. We are cleaning up those wait times and getting better health care sooner for Manitobans. Mm -hmm. The Honourable Member for River Heights on a final supplementary. Yeah, Madam Speaker. On one occasion, Julie was directed to the Health Sciences Centre, then redirected to St. Boniface, and then it was full, and so she was redirected back to the Health Sciences Centre. On another occasion, she went to the Health Sciences Centre, was redirected to St. Boniface, uh, and it was full, and she ended up at Seven Oaks. Verna Ayers calls these hospital tours bumping around until one finds a place to land. This is neither adequate nor appropriate care for a person with a seizure who needs prompt attention. As this letter to the minister which I table shows he's already aware of this problem, will the government address the major problems no. it has created in making the current system? No. The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. The member knows I'd be happy to uh, receive more information if he has it, look into this particular case. But he also knows that we inherited a mess. We inherited exactly the system that he described for years and years in Manitoba. Patient transfers, the worst wait time results, the highest ER. In fact, in one year, Kai High reported that Grace Hospital had the highest emergency wait times in the entire country. And the next year, they said, now it was Concordia. We are fixing these problems, Madam Speaker, relying on evidence, relying on expertise of Manitobans and getting better results for all Manitobans. We are on a road to recovery. Here, here.